Hey guys, Matt from Adventure Cruiser, and I've got a little bit of something different for you today. We're going back to radios, and this is a device I found on eBay a couple of years ago, and I just haven't really played much with it, but it's the ICRI 4 Talk Group. And basically what this does is it was designed around an early concept where after 9-11, multiple agencies needed to have the opportunity to talk to neighboring agencies on their own radios. So if you have a county fire, a city fire, county sheriff, city police, and they all have the same incident they're working, each agency would come in, drop a portable radio, connect it to the ICRI device, and there you go. So I've tested this with just analog, and I wasn't super impressed with its performance in analog. And to be honest with you, I'm not super impressed with its performance anyway. However, this does work a lot better when you're running digital. So let's talk about what I've got set up here right now. I have a Kenwood VP8000 in DMR right now, a 7550 Moto Turbo set to DMR. Those two are on the same frequencies. Then I have a Motorola XTS5000 on P25 simplex, and then a APX6000 also on P25 simplex. So let's give it a test from DMR to P25. Testing one, two. Not bad. Then we're going to go back from P25 to DMR. Testing. One, two, three, four. So there is a little bit of a delay in how this repeats the communication. Now, I'm going to test again with analog because I think maybe I got something wrong to begin with. But in essence, this is a really simple way of trying to have an interoperability. So let's take a look at the front of this. Yeah, let's just throw it around. So you have the ability to connect five different radios a sat phone or land mobile radio, uh, and then a handset, which is, stop it. Don't you guys love my high production quality? This is the handset that you could use from this to transmit to both at the same time. And I don't have it plugged in. But this is a pretty cool device. Now it is clearly set up for mass incidents. Um, and there is a whiteboard behind it where you can label what each radio is. Now, it's my suspicion that with each of these four top groups, and again, I haven't tested this yet, but the concept is you can have four different operating systems, four separate top groups between the radios and switch back and forth between them. So you have a master that then you can say, okay, I'm gonna go to radio one, which is on top group one, radio two, top group two, and so on, and have the ability to go back and forth between them. So this is a pretty cool system. Um, I was just intrigued by its capabilities. Uh, one thing that is really fun to note is that there is a reel for about a hundred foot cable or something like that, where you can take one radio and put it up on the roof of a building or outside an airplane hangar or wherever you want and extend the range by placing one of the portables outside. I would probably use that with the VHF analog on like a, a fire scene and then everything else since it's going to be on a P25 system should be interoperability and work just fine. So again, guys, this is a pretty fun company, um, small company. Uh, I have talked to them in the past to order more parts for this and um, they were super, super helpful. And um, since this was surplus, there is this um, feature here where it will automatically ID after a uh, certain interval of time. And the problem is when I was testing this, it kept IDing as a police department. And obviously it was surplus from that police department. So um, I know it wasn't, you know, the free 33, if you know what I mean, but it was still complicated to remove that. It says no ID, but the reality is it was embedded in the machine. And uh, there is a workaround for that, um, which was pretty simple overall. But you have all the various cables. This is for a KNG P150 or similar. Uh, this one you can make your own cable from. And then this is the standard Motorola two pin. Uh, I went ahead and got this for all kinds of radios just because I wasn't sure what I wanted to play with and how to make it work. I think that's a GP100, something like that. And then that's for a Moto Turbo, Turbo Mobile. So. It's just a fun toy. Oh, and it has a battery backup. You can run this whole thing on AA batteries. So that's pretty cool. 
Anyways, that's all I've got for you today. Um, again, if you're interested in this, it's the Ikri Incident Commander's radio interface.